I also use it for tying off the ends of wire antennas when I'm doing my ham radio stuff out in the woods or I'm doing parks on the air, summits on the air. Hey YouTube, another Wilderness Wednesday. Now we've already talked about the static end of a ridge line, and we talked about the overhand loop, the overhand end loop as I call it, or the Avink or Siberian hitch to start your ridge line. That's your static end. Once it's tied, it stays there and it doesn't move. It's static. Now we're going to work at the tightening end. This is the end where I can adjust how tight that ridge line is. And this is the third knot of the three that we teach at Valiant Outfitters for survival, basic survival, especially when you have limited dexterity for whatever reason. This is called the taut line hitch. It's a pretty common knot. A lot of people already know it. I'm going to take that ridge line and I'm going to wrap my working end around the tree. Then I'm going to come back and not make a bite this time. I want to make a loop. So I'm going to lay that across the ridge line. And by doing that, I've created this opening here. I want to take that working end and bring it up through there and wrap it around the ridge line. Then I'm going to repeat that, do it again. So I've wrapped around twice inside of this area. Then I'm going to come towards my static end and I'm going to make another loop by passing that over the ridge line one more time. Now I'm going to make my quick release bite and pull that tight. So I'm pulling that up through that loop I created on the outside. Now you can see this isn't very tight, it's loose, but if I slide this knot, the taut line hitch, towards my static end, it's going to tighten up for me. So I cinch it down, and there we have a much tighter ridge line. If I want to loosen it, I slide it towards the tree, and it's loose now. Or again, tighten it up by cinching it down and sliding that knot towards my static end. Now I have this quick release bite that I made here, and I can quick release and get out of dodge quickly just by pulling that and pulling it away from the tree, then go get my static end and pack up, I'm out. Let's try this one more time. So I'm gonna take what was the standing end is now the working end, because now my standing end is going this way, it's my ridge line going my static end. Bring it around the tree, and make a loop by passing that working end over the ridge line, over the static line that's coming this way. It's going to create a loop in here. I'm going to wrap around that ridge line one time, two times. Then I'm going to bring it outside of that loop, going back towards my static end, and put it over top one more time to create this loop in here. Grab a bite, pull it through, and cinch it down. Quick release taut line. I can make it tight by cinching it down and sliding the knot towards the static end. I can loosen it by moving it away from the static end. I use this knot for ridge lines. I also use it for tying off the ends of wire antennas when I'm doing my ham radio stuff out in the woods or I'm doing parks on the air, summits on the air, and I'll use this and I'll attach down at that static end is where my antenna is going to be. And this I attach either my stakes in the ground or I use it on a tree or on a fence post, whatever, so that I can pull those legs tight if I want to. Quick release. And I'm done. I'm out. One more time real fast to show you how quickly I can do it. I'm not showing off here. You can do it this quickly too. Around twice, to the outside, around, pull my bite, and I make it tight by sliding that knot towards my static end. And there we have it, the taut line hitch, the quick release version. You know, this weekend, get outside. It's the place to be. Get these knots out there. You can use this uh, taut line hitch uh, on short cordage uh, for when you want to tie down your tent, get that tighter. Putting up your tarp over your hammock, doesn't matter if you tent hammock, you tarp, uh, camp, whatever you use, get outside, enjoy the outdoors this weekend. We'll see you for another Wilderness Wednesday.